Brava. I love you, Charlie and Adam Brava. Mahalo and welcome all blessed Brava babies to this perfectly attuned transmutation on a middle of the day entitled Be Brava Live Gift Options. So cuties, I take my public policy from Michelle Obama, which she did speakest when she gets her hair and makeup done, she's going to put all her appointments. So I did my makeup. So you better believe it. She was going to utilize it for this divine moment. Okay, Dars. So I dressed myself in tool for this gift wrapping option. Be Brava Live. If you're not choosing gift receipt, it doesn't cost anything more to have the gift options, my Dars. So if you're not gifting yourself and writing a sweet little love note to yourself every time you order off of Amazon Prime, yes, she still does. Get at me. Come, come knock on my little tiny house. Okay, kitties. It's a great deal. I'm not, I am ashamed. I'm deeply ashamed. Okay, Dars. And yet, and still, convenience is king. Okay, cuties, we're gonna get right into it. Gift options, what the fuck is this about? Here's the thing, my cuties, we owe nothing. We owe nothing. The sooner that you can realize that everything is borrowed, she who realizes she owns Yantai owns the world. Okay, Dars? Because when we give, when we give generously, when we give audaciously, when we give in a way that shocks people, take it, you like it, take it. I don't want it. It's disarming, my dars. You disarm the multiverse of these little grabby hands. Here's the thing, my cuties. There is a fallacy in our mind. It's called the endowment effect. When something we believe it is to be ours, we value it more. So someone would see a watch and they would give it a higher value if it was theirs versus not theirs. Okay, kids, we walk by a broken watch on the street. No one's gonna fucking cry. Your watch breaks and it's like travesty. Okay, cuties? endowment effect. This also goes to ideas. When someone believes it's it their idea, they're into it. They're into it. This is the tools, the master tools of persuasion. If we can let everyone own everything, my darlings, all of our ideas, if we can package deliver them in the little brain chemistry of another so that that person believes it is their fucking idea and take no ownership. We don't give a fuck about ownership, cuties. Ownership is for, I don't know, the guy who invented Scientology. I forget his fucking name. He wrote his name on every single book he ever wrote, right, cuties? And I already hate him, Elrond. Ownership is oh, ownership is for the masses, my daughters. We don't need ownership, okay, cuties. Possession, possession. You are not to be possessed by your possessions. Do you realize there are more storage units? Sixty thousand, approximately sixty thousand storage units in the United States. There's like fourteen thousand Starbucks's, okay, cuties. A public utility, oh, a Starbucks. The three bathrooms for all, okay, cuties. Fourteen thousand storage units. Y'all are, and there's a whole George Carlin bit on this. Y'all are just little boxes. Your houses are just boxes for your shit. Okay, cuties? And you're trapped by it. How often have you thought, oh, I would do that, but where would I put all my stuff? Okay, cuties? Once you get rid of all your shit, you're free. Once you realize you don't need it, you're free. So we let others, we gift. We gift, we gift, we gift. And here's cuties. If all of life is a gift to you, if every moment of impatience, if every moment of disappointment, if every moment of a flat tire, if you can be searching for the gift in that moment, okay, cuties, that is the mindset of someone who actually receives blessings. And you don't have to believe in any spiritual woo-woo shit to believe, uh, everything's happy for you, I don't fucking know, okay, cuties, I'm not a quantum physicist or like a, like, whatever, like, psychic intuitive when I pretend to be on the internet, okay, cuties, I'm not any of those fucking things, I'm a human fucking being, okay, cuties, we can choose the perspective to actually see the blessing in everything. And then what the fuck you find it, okay, cuties? That is when you gift option, gift option your entire fucking life. Is she rolled up? Yes, because she's been on Zoom for two hours. You know, babies, I do live by the philosophy of exceptionalism, which means lines and waiting on Zooms are not my thing, okay, cuties? I like the solo show of Instagram. Okay, darts, empathy. Empathy is borrowing emotions. Okay, cuties, not even our emotional experience is our own. Okay, cuties, I had a friend visiting me. Okay, cuties, cute, short story. She just had a lot of anxiety, right? She had a lot of anxiety. I woke up the morning she was coming to visit me. I could not be still. I could not get into my zens. And you know my zens is very always approachable, cuties. I'm a personal leader. Okay, cuties, a little meditation, a little yoga, a little beach. I can get into my zens. Could not get into my zens. Okay, cuties, was at a level 10, had a class, has a yoga class. Okay, cuties. Had a deep into those points. Be like, I need to buy more points on the class pass app. Okay, cuties. I had to tell everyone the I you know, and like for me when I'm anxious, I'm just gonna talk about it. So I was telling everybody, I'm so anxious. Everyone's like, bitch, I don't care. I have like children at home. I was so anxious. My friend arrived, she says, Oh, babe, I was so anxious. Do you realize like I have just gone through 
crazy anxiety. We are empathing each other all the time, my darlings. Not even our feelings are our own. But once we can recognize that what we are borrowing, stealing, taking, once we are transmuting what is not our own, what is nothing is ours, there's a great liberation, cuties. You don't own any of it. You don't own any of it. This, my dars, this dress, I've had it for like 10 years, and she's like, should I get rid of it? And truthfully, I like it. You know what I mean, cuties? I've grown attached to it. Children, actually, they feel a sense of control by owning things, and that is why actually five-year-olds, if someone is asleep or in a coma, they don't believe that that person could still own the things that they own. Because ownership is about having autonomy and control over the things. And so those of us who have might be triggered by loss of control over your childhood, like my, my dear papa and others who are very attached to their things, it's a sign that potentially in their childhood there were moments that they felt out of control and they had to like hold on to their belongings, right? Like Tom Hanks and his like little volleyball, right? Cuties, oh, my, my friend. Because belongings become a way to control the world build a little world. But when do those possessions start to possess you? When does your need to own start to block you from being able to persuade and move and navigate the world freely? Cuties. So that is gift receipt. Gift options. Gift options. Always write yourself a cute little note and have them put them in a little package. Okay, cuties, if it's free, always do gift options. And that's all she wrote. She's going to gift herself with a little trip outside. She's been on a Zoom. No more fucking zooms. Okay, cuties, we are done with zooms. I want real in the flesh. I want I want flashy people. Okay, cuties. I want all your flesh. I don't want I don't want to be on another zoom for the rest of my goddamn fucking life. Ugh, can I see the gift in it? Not yet. Sometimes you have to just be a bitch and then we can see the gift in it. Okay, love you guys so much. I hope that I hope that the captions have a great time trying to figure out what the fuck I'm saying this whole time. Bye babies. Love you so much. Have beautiful, blessed days. And this has been Be Bravo Live. Feels like